इट्स बींग सीन एज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पुश फॉर मेक इन इंडिया फॉर आत्मनिर्भर भारत एंड इट्स द एंड यूजर द सोल्जर ऑन ग्राउंड हु इज एक्चुअली डिवाइजिंग अ वेपन दैट ही मे नीड इन क्लोज क्वार्टर कॉम्बैट आई स्पोक टू दिस यंग लेफ्टिनेंट कर्नल इन द इंडियन आर्मी हु इज कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइज a machine pistol required for close quarter combat at the infantry school mao that concept was then taken to the defense research and development organization and this prototype is the result these weapons have now been displayed before the chief of the army staff once they undergo further tests they could well become a part of the indian army weapon system the first of its kind made in india machine pistol manufactured actually the design is lieutenant colonel prasad bansod of the infantry school mao you designed it and the drdo uh, and you are making this machine pistol explain this machine pistol to us sir uh, this is india's first indigenous attempt at making a machine pistol it is based on the in service 9 mm ammunition this this has this product has been conceptualized at the infantry school mao and we have made it with the help of ard armament research development establishment pune the weapon functions on the in service 9 mm ammunition it fires from a high capacity 33 round magazine the magazine can be inserted in the pistol grip the weapon features a folding butt stock with which the weapon becomes very compact to carry the butt can be deployed easily the weapon features a charging handle which in this case is fixed on to the left side however depending on the tactical situation the charging handle can also be shifted on the other side of the weapon the so weapon for example if i want to cock this weapon and i use my left hand um i will have the cocking handle here yes. alternatively i just twist can, this can, and pull it in and then fire yes if i am firing from my left shoulder or i need to do is turn the weapon this way and it's still ready to fire perfect perfect the, the weapon 33 has a, rounds uh, 33 rounds means uh, do all the 33 rounds like in an assault rifle fire in one go yes we or... have the we have the change lever of the weapon as you can see it here it can be operated with with both the hands yes so now it's on burst fire yes, round it's, it's on safe on the first press it goes on the single shot and the second press it goes on a full auto mode in a full auto mode once you press the trigger keep the trigger press it will fire all 33 rounds in one go in one go 9 mm ammunition now who who will use this this is not for soldiers at the line of control this is for soldiers perhaps in counter terror operations this has primarily been uh, with thought of with an intention for uh, soldiers who operate heavy weapons like ma medium machine guns automatic grenade launchers uh, anti tank launchers uh, a vehicle that is the tank crews aircraft crews policing vip duties counter insurgency counter terrorist operations this has been intended and made with uh, this intention this weapon is called asmi and the officer told me it's all about the pride of the soldier and the fact that they themselves are now part of conceptualizing weapons that they would want to use i quickly want to cut across to india today's shiv arur for more on this and shiv this big atmanirbhar push in defense manufacturing now you have end users they want to manufacture those weapons they want to conceptualize weapons they want to use and if we make them in india you don't waste for an exchange you don't have to go outside you make these weapons and systems in india well gorov you know this is a very very promising development that's come out uh, you know as a coll collaboration between the drdo uh, and uh, an indian army uh, uh, you know outfit uh, the very fact that the customer the end user of these weapons is part of the design process is extremely uh, 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 you know uh, extremely promising uh, and uh, indicates that this 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 firearm could possibly be a success unlike so many others you and i have both reported on so many other indigenous uh, you know firearm products uh, that have not either not met requirements or for various other reasons been rejected by the military you know this is an uh, area close combat infantry infantry combat where you can't go wrong with this kind of weapon when you're so up close with the uh, you know potential enemy and adversary uh, and therefore it's important that these weapons are you know from the design phase itself uh, uh, you know involve a great deal of accuracy a great deal of collaboration between both sides and i as i understand it the asmi machine pistol is something that can plug right into the ammunition supply chain the 9 mm ammunition supply chain that is already existing uh, within the indian army so it's not 
like right. it will require a whole lot of preparation for it to be inducted. So extremely promising. Uh, hopefully, it will be on the standards of other legendary machine pistols like the Uzi. You know, most people when they think of a machine pistol, they think of the Uzi. Uzi. Uh, but uh, this particular uh, this particular machine pistol uh, called the Asmi in collaboration between the DRDO and the uh, and the Indian Army is uh, uh, is something that we're all going to look out for. Hopefully, the prototype phase will lead to production very very soon. Oh, absolutely, Shiv. And uh, you know, today I've had the privilege of interacting with a number of officers. So from artificial intelligence to robotics to bulletproof weapons uh, to actually making water out of air uh, there is a lot there is a lot that army is doing in terms of innovation and since these officers are deployed on those conditions uh, they've suffered it themselves so they're trying to improve the lot of the next lot of soldiers and those stories will be on the broadcast from now till republic day in the days and weeks ahead